Hey, I went junking this weekend and found a little treasure for my kitchen. Let me tell you all about it. I don't know about you, but I love finding little treasures, particularly when they fit sort of a theme or motif. I go into stores and I've, I've always got these ideas about what I want to do in different rooms of my house. And in my kitchen, I'm always looking for anything white. You just can't get enough of it, whether it's big bowls like this or platters, whatever it happens to be in any age. But I really got lucky here. I found this for $45. It's a piece of ironstone from England. And what, what's great about this is that it was um, discounted to $38. So I feel like I really got a great deal. Now, let me tell you what ironstone is. Ironstone was re really developed in England uh, about 1813 by a guy by the name of Charles Mason. And he had a patent on this. And what was really cool about it is that his patent allowed him to make this, this new improved approach to um, kind of serviceware people would use. And what, it, what he found is it was much harder than earthenware and stronger than porcelain. So it made it a very useful kind of product to use at table or in a kitchen. So this, this piece was actually made by Grinley and Company. It's called Royal Ironstone China. It's, this is commonly referred to as Ironstone China. And the Grinley Company was in operation from about 1880 to 1991, so it had a really long run. Okay, so let's go back to Charles Mason for just a minute. 1813, he gets a patent. This patent is gone after 14 years. So in 1827, other people started making this. And in England, they painted them. It had different colors and things like that. Well, by 1840 and 1850, they started shipping tons of this stuff over to America. But it was really white and simple. They, they learned that the Canadian and the American market really liked this simple stuff with, with very simple motifs. And you'd often find agricultural motifs on it, like uh, stalks of wheat and things like that because it was being sold to these, well, farmers and, and used to, to, to serve up meals to the families and to all the staff on the farms. Now, what I like to do is collect a wide range of this. Like I said, anything white. So this is ironstone, but you can see this is a big bowl that I found. This is brand new. This is Pottery Barn. And then here's another piece that I found at a junk sale and a platter, and then these, this is one too. This is another one that is uh, from Stoke-on-Trent. It's an English mark. You can see it's got the, the lion and the unicorn on it, made, made by Pankhurst and Company in England. So, I'm, I mean, you can find these things for sometimes 10 bucks. And then even find things that are made in America, sometimes they're slightly off the color of white. You can see all these are really kind of the same color of white, and this is kind of cream. They work together so well, and I use this stuff every day. That's the thing. It's got a great sense of style, but you can really put it to work. You know, it's kind of embarrassing. I've totally trashed out this kitchen with this stuff. For instance, like this old soup train, I love it. It has no mark on the bottom, means it probably was part of a big set that was made. And all that's left is the lid, which has a beautiful acorn and oak leaf motif. And here's a ladle that goes with it, but a different, total different platter. Love this old bowl. I, make, I love making salad dressing in this. And then I have all these different things like this little gravy boat or for condiments of any kind. And then these egg holders are new which I think are really cool. So we take eggs that our hens lay, oh, and this is, a, this is a nest egg, this is a wood egg, and this is a little aside, but uh, we put these in the hen's nest, and the hens will actually see the egg in there and go, hmm, this is a good place for me to lay an egg. And so they go in there and they lay these lovely brown eggs. These would be some of, from some of our big buff Orpington chickens. And so I love these egg holders like this. And once you, if, if you like a boiled egg for breakfast, I've got little uh, white ironstone egg cups here. And then if you love deviled eggs, the flight continues. I love this. This is modern, but it's the perfect way to serve a dozen deviled eggs. And I do love deviled eggs. So if you've enjoyed this little segment on history and style, comment on it and tell a friend about it. And make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.